Welcome back everybody. So this is day one of my advent calendar. So we are drinking your advent tree tree calendar. It's not a calendar. Okay. It's tree. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so this is Brewery Vivant Wizard Burial Grounds. Ground. Yep. Um, I was trying to think. So obviously if you don't follow, geez, I can't even talk tonight. No hype beer reviews. I we sent him one. We surprised him with an advent yep. tree. And I guess him two ten ninety brewing and Jessica thought it would be good to make me one. Actually, it was my idea. And I <laughs> asked them to help pitch in. Um but you gave yours away. Yeah, yes, in, for, is what you're trying to for get. For this one, I knew Kyle would like this a lot more than I probably would, and I did pick one up at Hoffman Street, and I was like, "Send it to him. We'll put it in there. He'll like it a lot more." Because I figured I could go back, I could buy a four pack, buy a single. If nothing. they still had it, right? But Jessica went down there the other night and picked up the last four pack. I was sneaky sneaky. <laughs> grabbed the last four pack because when we watched Kyle's review, I have to let Brad, I can't tell Brad what's in it. So sure, let's watch Kyle's review and see what he thinks and whatnot. And Brad's like, I am kicking myself for not getting one for myself. Right. So, sometimes good wives take matters into their own hands, and now I have... Two left. Two left. Yep. yep. So, this is a bourbon barrel aged quad ale. So, Belgian quad is what Untapped has, 10% ABV, 27 IBUs. Again, I, di I did watch Kyle's. I've never had this before. I know it comes out every year, but... Being a Belgian quad, most of the time I don't like them, so I don't pick them up. Then why were you all like crying about it? Because it sounded good. So bourbon, vanilla, uh, charred oak, um, caramel is in here. So let's see what we think. Do you uh, remember what he said about it? No. I remember he I liked it so a lot. I watched so many of them. Yeah. Uh, packaged on 11 20 18. So a month ago. Uh, yeah. Cool. Are you supposed to have them? Is it is this going to be better now or is it going to be better in a year? I don't know. I've never aged them. I think it's not going to be good at all, but here um, I am supporting. Head is gone. I'm guessing it's from the alcohol. Caramel color in there. Lots of bubbles coming up. Very clear. I can see through it. Yeah, you can see the alcohol legs on there. Smell. What do it's, you all smell? It's smiling? your birthday. Drink yeah. up. You didn't even say it was a beer calendar for your birthday, did you? You didn't nope. even mention it. Today's Brad's birthday. <laughs> He's 27. Yep. We wish. I thought I was 13. <laughs> Eternally. <laughs> Moving on. This smells like a timid, very, very timid, light. Time, time out. The... Okay, so we're back. I had to flip the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. You don't remember okay. what you're going to say? I was... I don't know my beer well enough, I think. But I remember drinking the B... What are the pumpkin ones? B.I.P.? Yeah. I don't think I had KBS with you. But this smells like a timid version of that. Okay. Like, I think that... Truthfully, I could have more of a caramel molasses flavor smell. Yeah, I, I'm getting the barrel, it, it, barrel maybe the, oak, maybe a touch of vanilla, but since I know that it's on there, um, I'm getting more of like a cherry, a fruity yeast. Really? In there. It's almost like a, a cherry cider with some caramel. I'm just getting caramel, but I, I really thought I would get more out of this. No? I don't know. It, I, I can I smell a little alcohol from that, that bourbon barrel, but I think that's what you are going to get since it's in bourbon barrels. Okay. But, 
Yeah, to me, it's almost like a, a cherry fruity yeast. That's interesting because I don't get that. I just think it smells, I mean, it smells like a little bit like alcohol, but I don't, yeah. I don't know. I just wanted it to, to smell stronger. Oh. Do I not have Oh, enough? now you want stronger beers? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and taste. We change our minds as we get older. Do you like this? A little thick. I, I do get some of that bourbon barrel oak in there. Not as much as I thought I was going to. For it being a uh, Belgian, I, I thought that oak would really kick up in there. Maybe some darker fruits in like the very back. Really? Yeah. You know what would be good with this? Dark chocolate cherries. Like dark chocolate yeah. covered cherries or something. I don't think it tastes like fruit. I like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Those yeah. other two are mine. But I get, I, I do still get that, that fruity yeast. I'm guessing it's from the Belgian yeast. Okay. That, that's in there. It, it's a tiny bit warm, like I uh, uh, touch, you know, on my throat. This is easy to drink. Yeah, very smooth. It just doesn't have a strong... Taste. I know. It's all like real mellow. And if you're into that, that's fine, but I like strong. I like kind of in your sweetness. face molasses or see I don't really get vanilla and not too much of the charred oak which is good because I don't like oak. I think some of that charred it's like at the very beginning you're getting that oak barrel and I think there's a little char right after that before it starts going into like a sweet I'm going to stick with cherry cuz that's what I keep on getting sweet fruity cherry yeast <laughs> i think it's just a, a yeah mild i would use your your word mild mildly flavored bourbon barrel aged beer i didn't know what to expect um rob has my third there's this plus the other two my or my fourth yeah. beer i'm what i wonder what he thinks of it kyle really liked it and um I don't know, I felt the need to clarify that when I watched him actually drink this, and he says I bust his chops for swishing it around, it's because I can't. <laughs> I I think that it's fascinating that he does that that way, and he gets the notes that he does, how he does. I can't do that because I can't. And I, I would say this is, I. it's probably like, what, 65 degrees probably? As we're drinking, do you it think now. it's too warm then? Well, I wonder. No, I, oh. I think I, I think it's right, but it's not like we just took it out of the fridge and opened oh, it. Okay, it was in the fridge for about twenty minutes because it was at Jessica's work all day. And it's cold in my office. It's like seventy. But yeah, I like the sweetness. I like how it's not malty. That Belgian is really bringing out the other flavors. I would almost like to see a stronger barrel in this. I'd agree. And I I don't know why, but I'm just I don't know if it's from having all these barrel aged beers. I want I, a stronger I want it now. I want a stronger flavor. Do you don't you want a stronger flavor yeah. all around? Well, I, I like the back end, that sweet fruity yeast that I'm getting. Okay. It's just up front I for my liking, I think it's a little too light. For my liking, it's too late too. I would I would go four point two five out of five on this. I would too because I could drink the whole thing, and I think you're not supposed to. Why? It's only ten. Ah, that's not so bad then. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's good. I did not. I'm I, kicking myself in the butt for not trying them last year and the year before when I saw them at Hoffman. <laughs> well, now you know every year for your birthday to ask for right this. So, 27 of my friends have rated this uh, 4.3 out of 5. Uh, almost 8,500 people have rated this average 4.14. Mike did give it a 4.25. And that's all it's going to show me. 
I like. I would agree 4.25. I would just like a stronger flavor. It yeah. tastes good. It's easy. I don't think it tastes like alcohol. It doesn't burn at all. I am surprised to say that this is a winner in my book. <laughs> cool. So this is day one. Jessica knows what the other beers are. I do not. We've got them out in the garage. We're in Michigan. It's winter. They're going to stay cold. So, I don't remember what's in them. I don't remember what day. Yeah. I'm going to be just as surprised as you <laughs> and him. So, yeah, I'm keeping them in there. I don't know. I'm going to pull them out. But from what I know, no hype beer reviews. Go check them out. 21090 Brewing. They both set beers. Go check 21090 yes. Brewing out. Yep. Um, all the Even though this is from, let's say, Jessica, I yes. will leave both of their links down below and we'll see... Yes, what and we will is. and we will specify. I can specify for you yeah, who sent what. I have no clue. Right, but I don't know what's. I think I know what day two is because I'm pretty excited about that. But uh, <laughs> after day two, nothing. Well, we'll and out. the funny thing that we keep talking about um, is when I sent it to Kyle, we should have wrote it down because now he's on day five. He'll be on six. day six. Yep. Um, and we don't know. I don't. Re- I only know so. two. Two out of the last five. Yeah, I don't even so. remember any of them. But um, Brad will, in in this video, maybe after we're done talking or whatever, he'll show you a picture of what it looked like. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, right? You'll see what it looked like. Um, and it's just Pringles cans. Yep. I found it on Pinterest. My boss made fun of me. He's like, "Is that a Pinterest craft?" And I was like. <laughs> Maybe, but just Pringles cans, hot glue, lots yep. of burns, because I suck at the hot glue gun. But but it's exciting because there's nothing that can come up with original to get you for your birthday. And so this is fun. <laughs> yep. It, it takes care of the birthday present and what you like. Yep, that's right. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Go check out No Hype Beer Reviews. Link down below, 21090 Brewing, link down below, happy brewing. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos.